Hey, what's up everybody? I am Dan Thompson with Claris Network and this is What's Up in Tech. Now, I have recovered from my Claris Cloud Cookie Coma from the holidays. I don't know if you saw those or not, they're awesome. Uh, but we are back, Black Friday is over with, and oh my gosh, did you see the outrageous stuff that was going on at Walmart stores and other stores around the country? Seriously, people, it is not worth punching somebody in the face for a TV. So, what we've come up with today are some geeky gifts for your tech people on your list that you can buy online so that you can avoid all the madness in stores. So here we go. All right, so let's get started with the Xbox One versus PlayStation 4 battle. Now, this has been a very interesting season because we now have two new consoles, uh, obviously, and they are both vying for your living room. And what's interesting about this is we have kind of two different approaches to the same sort of uh, the same sort of thing. So they're obviously both gaming consoles. Uh, Microsoft, however, with Xbox One is really trying to gain control of your living room. And what I mean by that is they have an HDMI in, which means they want you to take your DVD player or more likely your cable system, your satellite system, and plug it into your Xbox One so that you're watching satellite from your Xbox One display. Uh, really interesting play. Uh, also, Microsoft has the Connect built in, which that's the motion sensor. I can walk into a room, it recognizes me, kind of maybe slightly weird thing. Uh, so they've got that. Lots of cool stuff going on. But, man, these things are expensive. So Xbox One is 500 bucks. So that's for a gaming console, and that comes with like zero games. So a uh, little bit pricey, obviously. Then you have to pay for Xbox, uh, the online piece of that as well on top of that. So uh, looking a little pricey. PlayStation 4 is at 400 bucks, so still pretty expensive, but not as bad as the Xbox One. So uh, what's interesting about this whole conversation, though, is you've had a lot of people like myself who were Xbox diehards, but because of this price, uh, man, I'm seriously thinking about that PlayStation. So uh, at the end of the day, there's really no good games that are just on one console and that's it anymore. Most stuff is multi-platform. You have the Halo games, but man, those things are tired. Uh, so personally, if you're gonna ask me for my opinion, I'm looking at the PlayStation 4. All right, so the next thing on our list, now this is a little bit cheaper if you're looking for a stocking stuffer, uh, the Chromecast. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but this is legitimately the coolest thing that I have seen in a while. Uh, what Chromecast does is it plugs into the HDMI port on your TV, connects to the wireless at your house. You use a little plug-in thing for your laptop. Don't worry, it's not scary. And what you can do is you can pull up a web page and toss it straight to your TV. You can be uh, looking at YouTube on your phone or iPad and toss that straight to your TV. So super, super cool. Uh, we've reviewed things like the uh, Roku, the Boxy in the past. And for me, th literally what happened was I borrowed one of these from my friend. I sold my Roku on eBay and bought a Chromecast like the same day. Like all this happened on the exact same day. Uh, so very cool device. It's fun for, I mean, if you're just sitting around, you're watching a YouTube video, you want your friends or your wife or whomever to see it, you can just toss it to the TV and say, hey, check this out. This is really funny. Uh, so really cool device. Oh, did I mention? It's 35 bucks. It's only 35 bucks. So go check one of those things out. It is seriously, seriously cool. All right. So the last item, hey, check this out. How about Amazon Prime? $79 a year, and what this gets you is uh, free two-day shipping on eligible items. So, I mean, if you're buying a lot of stuff off Amazon already, might be worth checking out anyway, because if you'll, you know, 79 bucks, if you're paying that in shipping per year, it's a great deal. Uh, also, you get access to their instant video uh, idea, so it's kind of a Netflix-like service, so you can rent videos online, they can stream it to your, uh, you know, whatever device you have at your house. Pretty cool service, I've used it, been able to find videos on there that I was able to find on Netflix. Uh, also, check this out. So, Kindle Owners Lending Library. So, uh, some Kindle books that you get, you can loan out to other people, like if you're done reading them or you just didn't like it or whatever. Uh, so, if you have Amazon Prime, you have free access to that as well. So, uh, several different key benefits. Obviously, the biggest thing here is the shipping uh, component. Also, the streaming video is really cool as well. Uh, so, check that out. Speaking of Amazon, did you guys check, uh, catch this whole drone thing that they were talking about? So Amazon is experimenting with helicopters that fly, like remote control helicopters, that fly to your house and drop off your gift. 
Yep, you heard that right. So they're going to use radio controlled things to drop off your gifts. The idea being they can get you uh, whatever it is that you've purchased in 30 minutes or less. How's that for crazy? So like you can't even go to Walmart and buy something and be back at your house in 30 minutes. So a uh, really neat idea. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, obviously there's a limit to how heavy the thing can be. Uh, and obviously some kid is going to shoot one of these things out of the air. It will happen, I promise. Uh, so anyway, so just lots of neat things. Interesting to me though about it is that Amazon's not a to take on the postal service they're not afraid to take on UPS or FedEx or the courier for that matter uh, so I mean they're just really trying to reinvent how we think about shipping and how the whole delivery experience is so kind of cool stuff uh, anyway I am Dan Thompson with Clarence Networks and again we will see you next time on what's up in tech